All right, good day, boys and girls. We are back with yet another camper con video. However, this is the last in the series. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to take you a little bit behind the scenes of what goes on and what we talk about and a little bit of interviews. So like I say, I hope you liked it. If you would like to see more of these type of videos in the future with van life meetups or living in a RV type of meetup, then go ahead, comment below if you would liked it or if you'd like to see something else. Um, I think it's better than uh, watching videos the typical ones how I shower in a van when I live in a van or how where I park or how I poo in a bucket you know what much better than that I think so what else do I have to say here so this is the last a, a video in this series and we'll go on to bigger and better things so let's roll the film and check this last one out okay yes he's from Georgia and I did talk to him quite a bit and I did a small interview of this fella and you know what I had the camera pointed the wrong direction <laughs> somebody pointed it out but the Sun is so bright here I can't see my screen and it's a large glare coming off my screen so but he's been touring for three months in this and here goes Justin and his new rig Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big rig he's got there. Holy she! Oh, now I got somebody coming in. They got to be part of the video. Anyways, I've been chatting with this guy all weekend. Sorry, what's hey, your name again? Ben. I forget. Ben. Ben. Yeah. Ben's been pretty awesome talking with him. You came from Atlanta, right? That's right. Yeah, that's amazing, amazing, and you find yourself here in Canada. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, yeah, pretty beautiful. Nice spot. being on the road in general too. Yeah. You know. So how long you been out for? I think three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, uh, in fact it is three weeks yeah, today yeah, yeah. that I left. Okay. So have you come specifically for this or for something else? I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to stop by and see my son who lives in an RV and rock climbs in Colorado and then he showed up in Georgia before I left. Okay. So, so I just said, okay, the uh, um, Tampa Con will be my my goal. Wow. Okay. I've had a good time. I've, good I've enjoyed all the and, uh, places I've stopped. Yeah. You know, I spent a couple nights over there on the island and I yes. saw you were in Port Alberni just a week ago. Yeah, that's right. I was right. there like yeah, yeah, yeah. three days yeah. ago, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, wow. Nice. Yeah. It's neat in there. Uh, very quiet and remote. And it like is a beautiful it. valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To and live I don't know, but to visit. Same difference. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're, you're, you're in a van. You're visiting and living at the same time everywhere. Right? Well, my parents live there, so I mean, for ah. them, if they said, "Oh, come move here," but I would go crazy now after two weeks. Yeah. I need more things to do. But beautiful spot. Wow, good. Yeah, yeah. Fun. This is what happens affair. when YouTubers get oh, together. See more YouTubers. Do we get cameras? Yep. Looking uh -huh. at cameras. All right. See, he, he's like, from Atlanta. You know that. Atlanta. That yeah. makes me special. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Eh? Meet Mr. Special yeah. from yes. Atlanta. And what's your actual name? Only five million people from Atlanta. Uh -huh. uh, and ben. And you're yeah. not a YouTuber, right? You? No, no. I mean, that comment. So I'll probably have something to say about yours. So look, everybody have a really good look because it's the last time you're going to see him on the internet. That's right. Maybe. And so you're interviewing everybody. I'm just doing little bits here. Because you there. only came to me for like 10 minutes or so. Uh-uh. Yeah. You're going to probably cut that down to like 30 seconds. 20, there's that. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. No. That's what it's I don't be. edit much. I pretty much do everything. And there's another YouTuber. Everybody's doing there. what goes so on. I'm going to go somewhere. We're going to have to somehow link these three videos yeah. once yeah. we put them on. Actually, yeah, that's probably a good idea. What I'll do is uh, I'll put a do the link thing and everybody's too funny. <laughs> Georgia is known for peaches a lot too, right? You know, it's... I'm just curious. I, I, uh, they, they talk about that, yeah. and South Carolina has, yeah. does more. They grow $30 million worth of peaches wow. in South America, South Carolina, so it has to be yeah. less in so Georgia. Sad. So compared to the economy yeah. of the state, like, how are we the peach state anymore? Like, that yeah. old habits die hard, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, everyone has to love peaches. They're great, but what's that, what's that got to do with Georgia's economy now? I think yeah. peanuts are maybe five or eight times more, you know, economically. I, I, and Probably, but you, they things. catch a tag and a name, and That's then it right. sticks Nothing changes, right? Yeah. So, there's probably more peaches in you the Okanagan. You're recording the road, right? Uh, am I? Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Okay. 
Sorry we did such a bad job on that video, but what happened was I thought I was recording out of the face facing camera, but it was actually recording on the back side of the camera. So it was opposite of what I wanted. So I was taping the sky, <laughs> as you've seen. And like I said in my previous video to this one, I am the leader in substandard videos on YouTube. So there you go, that is proof. My next video clip will be much better. I have a clip here of a guy that lives in Vancouver in his van, Van City, and um, he has come up with a hydrogen on demand system that he built himself. Uh, he claims it gets better gas mileage, better fuel efficiency out of this unit. And so first I said, can I tape this? And he said, yeah. So he showed me what's going on there. And uh, the link, he has a channel. It goes by Van, uh, Van Dwelling in Vancouver. I think it is. I'm not too sure. But if you're interested in seeing his stuff, it's there. So anyways, check this out. And then I don't know if I got an ending this time. So maybe I'll end it here and say, you know what? Cheers. Enjoy the clip and see you next time. And until that time, Stay awesome. He's already put it up. It's not a scoop. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I just curious. Just trying to get overviews of uh, everything. There we go. Okay, now this just had a little bit of a meltdown because I didn't do things properly. But <laughs> sounds like me. This is supposed to be. This is actually supposed to be a solenoid that's connected to something like your running lights or something like right. that that just right. goes on. When the ignition is on, it turns uh, on. Yeah, 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 but yeah. right now I'm only testing this system out right. to see how it works. So I've just got an on-off switch on it, and I just manually turn so it on So is this divided? Off. Is there a division between, nope. like... Yeah, I'll show you. Where does, the, where does the oxygen bubble up, and where does the hydrogen bubble up? They both come out the same place. Oh, so, so, you, so you end up with a mix of hydrogen oh, and yeah. oxygen in the top, and you feed the mix into out the intake. That's right. That's right. So these, these are uh, what I've set up. Anodes and cathodes. Yeah, negative and positive. And um, this thing had a little bit of a meltdown because these guys actually touched somehow. Uh -huh. I thought I spaced them out properly, but this thing drooped down started touching positive to negative plate, right. which created thermal short induction, and, yeah. which melted the damn thing. Uh, yeah. So oh I yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Uh, but why don't but, you, don't you, but you could, you could just put a fuse on there to, and you'd never have that problem. That's there, right. right. Yeah. So uh, can, is, can, have you, have you been uh, able to, uh, to document your, your, your fuel, the differences yes. of fuel? And yes. What, what, in, so what's the difference? In the 81, yeah. Uh, I was running off propane in the 81 uh, van that I had, yeah. the Chevy 350 small block. Uh, I built like three of these things and put them together and just built up a system to the point where I got 35% fuel efficiency. Huh. I, I actually 35% more yeah. better fuel yeah. efficiency. Yeah, yeah. 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 Huh? I, I, I went wow. from 300 kilometers per tank of propane to 400 kilometers per tank of propane. Propane's good on its own anyway, yeah. so that's even better. And then right? adding the HHO on demand system actually made it 35% better. Wow. Hmm. Uh, you, you know what? It would, it, it's too bad that uh, like storage is always the issue. It is. But if that's you, why, if, that's if why you, the system doesn't have that issue. There's no storage. It's just right. made. If you could, if you could, it's, if you could handle the storage thing, you could be sitting out in the desert and generating hydrogen right, from right. solar yeah. 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 and then making gas enough enough fuel to, to get to the next place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can wow. literally be doing that if you can come up with storage. It's interesting. Does the oxygen help yeah. any too? Or does yeah, it does. does yeah. Yeah. Well, but, the oxygen helps the burn and the hydrogen, of course, raises the, uh, raises the temperature uh, of, of, the, of the explosion. Which actually burns more of your gasoline because gas so engines only gas burn on average thirty five percent of the gas. Yeah. That's why you can smell gas coming out of the tailpipe. But what hydrogen does is it actually raises the temperature of the burn and it allows you to burn up to ninety five percent of the of the fuel that you have. It's kinda like diesel, they use a higher temperature to <coughs> to burn the Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now the fact is if you can make enough hydrogen on demand at once, you can power the entire engine just off hydrogen. You don't need gas, yeah. but I mean that right now is just uh, fantasy because 
the amount of electricity required in order to create that much hydrogen, it, it's it's not too much. How many amps it's did your alternator put out? Uh, that's a 50 amp ohm. Uh, it's not that big, yeah. That's a smaller one. These new one, ones, like yeah. the, like the, like in 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 the ProMasters, right? They put out a, 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 like a hundred. They, they they're computer controlled, oh, and if the conditions are yeah. right, the alternator will put out 150 amps. So that's getting because I charge my battery yeah. off my yeah. alternator, I actually have to have a box that protects. My See. house battery system yeah, yeah, uh, from yeah, my yeah, alternator because yeah. my alternator potentially could fry the whole system. This is a five amp system. What I've got here. This runs. This takes five. Draws five amps. Hmm. Okay, when it's working, it gives me twenty percent fuel efficiency right now, uh, as it stood just before it had a meltdown yesterday. <laughs> but um, the fact is, is that with one hundred and fifty amps, you could put. You could put six, seven of those things together, and you could be running the whole engine off of hydrogen mm -hmm. and like, forget gasoline. Yeah. And, and that's about two kilowatts of engine power subtracted to generate the juice, yeah. and then the other twenty or thirty to go down the road, I guess. I like I like uh, I like the idea of of making your own fuel in the desert from the sun. Like, so there's something about that that is really appealing. <laughs> yeah. I but like the fact that I'm making fuel from water. The oil yes, companies serious. just love I mean, us like, doing this thinking. <laughs> oh, you got no idea, man. When I was doing my experiments last year on this stuff, I literally had gas going missing. I see you had to replace this. That's a part from a... That you had to replace that. This part here is loose.